Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and what we are at, have right here is the Galaxy S4 on the right and the Galaxy S3 on the left. Um, the Galaxy S4 is actually, from the size, pretty much the same as the S3. They're basically the same length and, and width. Um, it's supposed to be a bit thinner at 7.9 millimeters. It's 130 grams, so it's a bit lighter too. Except that the battery has actually grown up to a, a whole 2,600 milliampere hours. Uh, they're not saying anything about the processes yet officially so it's either the quad core snapdragon or the new exynos optina 5 which is probably what i was would be thinking it is because um otherwise they could just tell us it's a snapdragon 4 right yeah. or snapdragon 600. um 4.99 inch um super amoled display at with full hd resolution it's a bit longer and a bit wider as you'd expect since it's grown um there's two gigs of ram in there 16 32 or 64 gigs of uh, flash memory plus a micro SD card slot. I can't actually show it to you right now because you can't, you can't open it without the thing starts beeping. Um, up here we have a 13 megapixel camera. On the Galaxy S3 it's only an 8 megapixel camera. Um, they've moved the flash around and the speaker so this is a Xenon uh, flash I think. And down here we have the speaker which used to be upright next to the camera. Um, taking a look at the top and on the sides uh, Everything's pretty much where it used to be, so there's uh, a headphone out plus mics. They moved the power button a tiny bit where it's actually only grown longer. On the bottom, micro, SD, micro USB port slot as you'd expect, plus a tiny another mic. On the, on the left side, there's the volume rocker that's actually moved up a bit, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hardware wise, they don't look much of a difference, but what you can see is actually from the brushed metal look of the Samsung Galaxy S3, they've moved to like this pattern look on the S4 that has like it's kind of weaved. So, yeah, it feels pretty good, sturdy and everything. They have a metal frame running around the corners, so that's pretty sturdy. And it actually feels more, um, it, it feels more solid than, than the S3. All right, I was rolling with Mobile Geek. See you later.